How's it going, everybody? This is Robin of Guest back with another video, and in this one, we are going to do um, a reaction to one of um, Nuke's top five videos. Uh, this is top five ghost videos. So scary, you'll go boom boom. Fun. Let's go and watch this. Okay. One last goodbye. Back in September, veterinary student Mary Carmen Flores from Araquipa, Peru, adopted a sweet little Labrador that she named Scott. Okay. The two quickly bonded, but only enjoyed a few months together before Scott was tragically found dead in Mary Carmen's home. Oh no! Mary Carmen was absolutely devastated by the sudden loss of the very healthy dog and wanted an explanation. She suspected that some horrible person might have actually poisoned her dog. There's a special place in hell for people like that. I mean, it, you for those for those. I mean, a lot of people recognize the fact, and I've I've talked about you know the dog haters, and honestly, for those individuals that recognize that people have them as pets, and then go out of their way to basically. Um, you know, harm the animal. Y yeah, there is a special place in hell for you. So Mary Carmen started searching through her CCTV footage to find answers. But instead, she found something else entirely. Something she was not prepared for. Who's that? What the? Oh, it's a dog. It, it's a dog, it looks like. The CCTV footage shows Mary Carmen at the gate as her family arrives home. Her dog Scott can be seen happily greeting the group. But here is where it gets weird because this footage was recorded after the dog had passed away in tears mary carmen explains that she believes scott's spirit came to say goodbye to her and her family she shared the video to tiktok in dedication to the sweet dog's memory to this day mary carmen still has no idea of what caused scott the little labrador's death oh and it's a lab too yeah no there there's a special place in hell for you Whoever did this. Friggin' Labradors. They're such good dogs. Very loyal. And um, when it comes down to... Uh, well, I mean... Because I've had... I've had interactions with Labradors, German Shepherds. Uh, Rottweilers. I mean, very energetic dogs. But they're very protective. Um... But in, in terms of like lab, labs, I mean, dude, that's that's wrong. She's grateful to have found the footage of Scott's final greeting and goodbye to the family. That's sad. Wrong turn. Okay. Their bike rider Ethan's TikTok is dedicated to videos of his biking trips into the sand dunes and woods of Oregon. So I'm guessing these are all TikTok videos. Miles out into the woods and completely alone, he experiences something that frightens him to his core. What is it? Oh shit! is where most people would turn around you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side that's where all the gold is waiting over there could be missing out what's on the other side the fuck the hair that sound like a roar oh oh hell no 
Hello? I would run. Yeah, that's the part where you run away. No, turn around, yeah. Holy shit. Ethan is shocked when he hears strange human-like sounds coming from the woods. He believes it's a voice saying, hey, and help. Could be missing out what's on the other side. That didn't sound like somebody saying, hey. It was like a growl. Like, I kind of want to put that in the, the comments. Like, for the, first, the second video, it doesn't sound like, hey, the first time. It sounds like somebody growling. Hello? Ethan then hears strange movement in the brush that seems to be quickly moving towards him. He For... decides to just get out of yeah. there and is even so spooked that he runs right off the path and almost ends up falling right down the hill. When he posts the video to his TikTok page, he wonders if he might have had an encounter with a skinwalker or Wendigo? some kind of cryptid. I mean, there's a possibility it could have been a Wendigo. I mean, in certain, apparently in certain legends, um... When, like, oh, what was it? The Wendigos have the, I guess, as it's depicted in mythos. <laughs> um, don't quote me. Um, supposedly, it's uh, it's has the ability to mimic human speech. And for those who know that Wendigos are the creatures that are, that are born from um, people who resort to cannibalism. So there's a possibility that if it was a cryptid, then it could have been a Wendigo. In which case, yeah, it was a good thing that he decided to... Again, if these things are real, if these things are real, then it was a good thing that he decided to turn around and book it. Because apparently those things are fast, too. Supposedly. Again, that's the mythos. Don't quote me. Alright. Because you see, it's rumored that a strange creature wanders these woods. No fun. But many of his viewers just shrug it off. They say that he probably just heard a bobcat or maybe even a peacock. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there was no peacock. Now, whether it was just a bobcat or a peacock or not, many of Ethan's viewers want to see more they ask ethan over and over to return to that same spot in the woods to see what happens i want it so finally ethan decides to return oh that's so stupid a very bad decision to return late in the day as the that's sun so is starting stupid. to stupid as you might guess yeah it did not go well no it, it that's Something stupid that no one can explain been a few months since I filmed the last video because honestly I've just been too scared to come up here definitely a lot more overgrown than last time I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time I think that tree is actually gone this road's been cleared looks like we've already passed it a while ago but that tree is gone okay This was not Wait. smart. Holy crap, dude, this hill going on forever. Yep, yeah. no, run. Get out of there. It just got really quiet really fast. This dude's an idiot. Yeah. It's already getting dark when Ethan finds himself in a field and tries to decide which way to go next. All of a sudden, it gets really quiet as even the crickets seem to stop chirping. 
Suddenly, an ominous looking figure walks right out of the darkness of the. Whoa, I did not see that. Whoa. Tree line. Terrified, Ethan gets out of there as quickly as he can. So, what do you think is going on here? Did Ethan find the creature that he heard months earlier? Could this be what many believe to be a skinwalker? Well, possibly. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. And again, if you believe in that stuff, the I mean, it could possibly have been Skinwalker hole. Wendigo. Andrew Smith regularly sets out to explore secluded tunnels and caves in the beautiful landscape of Arizona. Okay. On one of his trips, he finds an abandoned mining cave and decides to take a look inside. What happens next is downright chilling. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh no. Why would you go... Why would you go further in after you hear the scream? Oh, that's not good. Dude, that should be your cue to leave. Oh, shit. Chilling sound of running footsteps somewhere deep within wow, the cave. That's so creepy. This isn't Andrew's first cave explorer, and he actually manages to keep calm and continue his trek through the tunnels. Good for him. But the sounds become increasingly more disturbing. Andrew's camera captures what sounds like several voices whispering to him. One of the voices even seems to say, We don't know who this is. Andrew searches the tunnels, but he can find nothing to explain the ominous sounds. Since we don't know the history of the abandoned mine or why it was abandoned in the first place, it leaves you to wonder just what happened there and what could be the source of all these spooky noises. But as to whether it's real or not, as always, I leave that up to you to decide. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email link in the description. The dead next door. Oh no. These next creepy videos were recorded by a woman from the Philippines who wishes to remain anonymous. The woman had just moved okay. into an apartment with her partner when she quickly realized that something was very wrong there. First, her dog begins to continuously bark at their door even though there's nobody there. And whenever she's alone, someone knocks on the door as if trying to enter. One night she hears a child running through the hallway and watches as the door handle moves by itself. Okay. She then hears a woman shouting at the child. So she finally decides to grab her phone and record. Okay. Every time she looks through her peephole, she finds no one there that would explain what she's hearing. Yeah. Now it should be noted that there were two apartments on the floor but the other apartment was mysteriously and completely vacant. No one else lived on this floor, so there should be no one in the hall, no child, no woman making these sounds. So the tenant shows her footage to her husband and they alert the building security guard, but he too finds nothing and no one to explain what she's captured on video. Yeah. There's no one on that floor. 
Another late night, and this time the woman is startled awake by loud screaming and crying, again coming from the hallway right outside her door. What she captures is absolutely chilling. can be heard screaming and a woman can be heard sobbing. Loud banging echoes through the hallway. Horrified, the woman contacts security immediately. When the guard watches the footage, he goes pale. He breaks Why? down and tells her that on the same day 12 years ago, a woman and her seven-year-old daughter brutally lost their lives in the other apartment on that same floor. Oh my God. He suspected that the father had ended their lives, but he was never caught. And that is why the other apartment had been left empty for years. Terrified by the incident and what she had captured on video, the woman decided to share her story on the internet. So, could the spirits of the woman and her little girl be trapped, condemned to experience their tragic end over and over, never able to move on? Let me know what you think. Ooh. School of the Dead. Okay. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Hiro and Tomo from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film set out to investigate an abandoned school that sits on top of a mountain somewhere in the countryside of Japan. The investigators don't know why the school was left abandoned, but rumors say that a student took her own life inside the school and that her tragic spirit still walks the hallways. Curious visitors have reported an alarming amount of paranormal events, including the high-pitched laughter of children and the apparitions of young boys and girls watching down from the upstairs windows. In one dark room in the basement, a long desk and chair sit creepily in the middle of the room. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. This room is said to be so intensely haunted that it has sent previous visitors running from the property in fear. Oh Together God! With their cameraman, Hiro and Tomo entered the building and soon began to hear strange sounds and voices. After having explored the main and second floor of the school, they finally head into the basement in search of the infamous, most haunted room in the entire school. The, the desk room. Oh gosh. Is it there? やばい、やばい。あった。ああ、ガシ。ちょっと変なって言うんだけどさ。めっちゃ人いると思ったんだけど。え、ちょっと。うん。なんか人がいる空気みたいな。うん。すそまじかったんだけどな。うわ、見た
Oh. Okay, I think I can kind of see it. That's freaking creepy. A dark shadow can be seen sitting at the desk, even though there was no one there at the time. That's really creepy. Carol decides that he must figure out just what he captured in his bizarre picture. So, he decides to return to the school to investigate all alone. That's dumb. It was a very bad idea. Yeah. As soon as Hiro goes back into the school, he says he feels like he's entered a horror game. And when he gets to the second floor, his fears seem to become a reality. This is not smart. This was not smart. In a split second, a dark shape appears to be standing inside one of the rooms. Oh, damn. But whoever or whatever it is disappears before the investigator can even blink. Hero runs over and searches the area, but there's no one there. There is also no exit that the person could have taken from that room. Now shaken up by the ordeal, Hero takes a deep breath and decides to get his investigation done as quickly as possible so that he can leave the spooky school. He heads straight downstairs and back into the creepy basement room from their last visit. And this is when things take an even creepier turn. Oh, the video got corrupted a little bit. Okay. Whoa! Is there a face? That looks like a face. When Hiro takes a seat on the chair, he suddenly feels what he describes as a presence watching him from inside the basement. He hears a noise and looks, but the sound is not captured on camera. But suddenly just then, yeah. a horrifying pale face slides out from underneath the desk. Hiro makes a run for it. Huh. And with that, the Omagatoki team has had enough, and they leave to just go home. That's now, crazy. Whether you believe Japanese paranormal encounters are real or not, the footage is most definitely very creepy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It certainly freaked me out. So, you can watch this entire three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. I'll have to check that out. Window to the soul.
This next mysterious video was shared to the internet over 15 years ago. The video shows a group of friends hanging out somewhere in the city of Thessaloniki in Greece when the camera captures something they simply can't explain. I'm like keeping an eye out for this. Wait, I didn't see it. I'm guessing near the window, huh? Did you see it? At first, everything seems completely normal. Yeah. But then a bizarre figure of a man appears in the window. Okay, I see it now. Now, the easy explanation would be that it's just the reflection of a poster that's hanging on a wall opposite the window. But when the cameraman later pans back to the window, it's the gone. Man has disappeared. The cameraman posted the video to YouTube, but has never posted anything since. So, it seems that the video and its creepy capture will remain a mystery. The Abandoned Graveyard Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back on another investigation. This time at the allegedly haunted Vicksburg Cemetery in Renville County, Minnesota. The old graveyard is abandoned, overgrown, and hidden away deep in the Minnesota woods. Okay. In the 1870s, the cemetery was part of the thriving town of Vicksburg, but the village is now nothing more than a ghost town. Oh, damn. Perhaps quite literally. You see, visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing and hearing supernatural activity, and locals warn tourists to stay away from the graveyard at night. Midwest Ghost Hunter, aka Ian, soon finds out why. Entering the cemetery. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Looks like, this looks creepy. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone. Yeah. 